All right, all right. I admit it. I'm gonna do it. I cannot take it anymore. Linux sucks. Vim sucks. YouTube sucks. I'm over it. I, I'm sick of it. I'm not. I'm not closing my account today. But I have got to bring back not related. Most of you watching this channel on YouTube don't even know what not related is. It's the podcast I did a year and a half ago because I was like, I'm sick of YouTube. I got to start being platform independent. I got to do something different. So not related is the best content I ever did. It had a cult following. People are still in every live stream. What are you going to do more episodes of not related? Oh, every email. What are you going to do more not related? Even though like they didn't even get that many views on YouTube. That's the thing. But you know, YouTube isn't the whole world. In fact, it was syndicated on a bunch of different sites. Go to notrelated.xyz. Okay. There weren't even, even that many episodes, but all of them, you know, I'm not, I'm not bragging because I, they were good. I'm just saying they're way better than the stuff I put on YouTube. I, I'm not saying I'm, I poured my heart and soul into them, but my goal when start when I started this podcast was there are so many topics that you know I have specialized knowledge of, uh, either because I've formally studied them or you know by some life event I've been exposed to them, and I I realized that the public understanding of some of these topics are just totally different from how they are actually are or there are some things that are just totally not represented on the internet i mean the internet is full of so much junk so much content so many content creators and you know you guys know i hate that term content creator um but you know i i feel like all of it is just repeating the same stuff over and over again so not related was an attempt to jump out of that all of the episodes were different all of them were on diff uh, different topics. There were some shared themes, I think people will note, but all of them were stuff that you could not just look up on other or other things. Irreplaceable knowledge that you'd have to get in real life or you get them from not related on the internet. So what were the episodes actually on? Well, again, go to notrelated.xyz, look at them, download them right now, listen to them. There, again, there aren't too many of them. You could probably, if you're bored tomorrow, you can listen to them all, okay? You got enough time. Um, but they were on different topics. Some of them were book reviews uh, on books that I, I think were really unique. I did uh, Albion Seed on the settling of America. I did Capitalism, Socialism, and Democracy by Joseph Schumpeter, another notable book. Or The Bicameral Mind. Ooh, that's a good one. That was the first episode on the idea that consciousness is uh, actually a learned trait that early humans didn't have. Uh, and a lot of, you know, ancient religions come from that. But later as time emerged, I think Not Related sort of had a theme to it. And the theme was that the public understanding of science, the public understanding of particular fields is a little different from how it should be. And that's because sometimes the media or popular books don't accurately represent them. So I did several episodes on several topics. For example, the most recent episode was actually on statistics. Specifically, the public understanding of statistics, even the use of statistics in non-statistics fields like psychology or economics, is totally off base. It is, devo it is devoid of content philosophically and practically. Um, I, I talked about the origin of what's called null hypothesis testing, uh, which is uh, basically it's a historical joke that has gone way too long. So we covered that. Uh, we covered how human evolution, the public view of human evolution, is a little different from the view of human, le human evolution in academic literature. And actually, since I did that episode, it's changed even more. Like, the things that I said in there uh, are, are probably understatements in, in some domains. Uh, a, anyway, a bunch of other episodes uh, on, for example, human rationality. Are humans irrational or are they irrational and that's a good thing? Stuff like that. So all of them on different topics. Now I would tell you the one, the episodes I'm going to do uh, coming up soon. I have, I basically have the whole second season planned out. I've had it planned out for like a while. I've known the topics I'm going to do it on, but I've just been a little, I don't want to say lazy, but to be honest, doing not related did take a lot of effort. You know, I'm usually the kind of guy uh, when I do a screencast, I'll record it. And then, uh, you know, just upload it and that's it. No cuts, whatever. Not related. I actually made lots of cuts. Producing an episode was actually a lot of work. Like for an hour long episode, I spent basically all day doing it. Um, so again, donations appreciated. Uh, but, uh, I, you know, I really, this, I, I guess, season, I, 
I don't want to make things more casual. I think I want to keep the same standard, but I might be talking a little faster, being a little, you know, not cutting out mistakes or maybe rewording things or stuff like that. I want it to be a little bit more naturalistic. Uh, you know, I was actually listening to some of the old episodes. I mean, they were they weren't bad, but you know, sometimes it sounded like the NPR voice, which I actually think is really cucky and annoying. I just, you know, really find that uh, okay. It wasn't that bad, but you know, it's just like uh, I was a little softer than I am nowadays. It wasn't like a Boomer Ranson Woods episode. Um, in fact, if anything, over the past couple of years, you know, the, when you move out into the woods and you haven't drunk uh, fluoridated water in a year, you get, I don't know, you just get a more red-pilled persona. You're just, I'm just a little more out there now. Uh, that's not to say that even anything I think has really changed that much. It's just you're willing to let it all hang loose. So anyway, here's what you do. Go to notrelated.xyz, download the episodes, download them all, uh, you can subscribe to it. It's syndicated at a bunch of different sites, including even botnet sites like, you know, Google and Spotify. But it, there's an RSS feed. You can download all the episodes. And the best thing about it is it's platform independent. Um, they're syndicated with a podcast syndicator. But I have, even in the worst case scenario, you know, I have them all on my website. And I'm going to be, I, I want to move to a place where I can be totally platformless or really a platform independent, have my own platform, be able to host everything from my own website. That's not very possible when it comes to videos. But when it comes to audio, that's easy to do. Doesn't even use that much bandwidth. Uh, I can easily use torrents. I'm working a, up a, a way to really, I, I mean, my goal is, you know, sometime soon. I, well, I don't know if you've noticed, but let me actually state my goal. And this is not just in not related. This is actually my YouTube channel. I want people to leave not just YouTube, but every site, myself included. I want us to be able to live in the internet as it used to exist. We all have our individual sites. We know how to manage them because of, you know, nice, I don't know, tutorial. I don't want to say because of tutorials, but, you know, bootstrapping scripts that make things easier. We're all independent. We can all communicate with RSS feeds and email. Uh, now I'm exaggerating a little bit, but uh, I, I think that any movement to being more platform independent is a good one. And uh, when it comes down to it, I, anyone could do, you know, Linux tutorials. I'm getting a little sour on it. Um, you know, there, there are still things that I, I sort of want to do videos on, but I th would much rather have an audio output where I can do stuff on and have it on my own website and not have to worry about YouTube. Uh, I'd rather, again, when I used to do Not Related, I actually got a lot of donations. I probably made more money from Not Related than I did from, like, YouTube ad revenue. I'd sort of like to do that again, uh, maybe even more so. I'd like to be, uh, not have to rely on YouTube. I'm not saying I'm quitting it tomorrow. I'm not saying I'm closing my account. But, uh, you know, you never know how bad things are going to get when it comes to any of these terrible platforms. YouTube, uh, I haven't even said on the channel, has been doing all these different things that, uh, especially to my channel, which... Are annoying. Anyway, now I'm just sort of complaining. So subscribe to Not Related, Big Brain Content. That that's the subtitle. And uh, wait, wait till you see what's next. Um, I have a lot of good stuff planned, and I uh, just wanted to do this episode to force myself to actually do the episodes. So I will see you next time. Watch them. Send donations with questions. I'll read them out on the the first episode. See you guys next time.